Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist. I'm going three times the speed here and voicing over while I block in these shapes. For this lovely little kitty with the open mouth. Almost could be, might be meowing. Doesn't really look like doing stink face, but oh, you could tweak it a little and it would be a good stink face. Get some lines in there to make sure I get the eyes in the right spot. I love that big chin. It'll look a little smaller once I plunk that open mouth in there. It's not putting every line in there, leaving a little bit of space for where it looks like the light might be hitting it. We'll put that open mouth in there. Those fangs. Yeah, I had to move that one over a little bit. It's okay to be a bit wonky, a bit crooked. Kind of adds character. But you don't want it to be too far out of place. I just kind of let my drawings become what they become. I'm liking the expression I captured so far. And I do love to get comments from you, especially if you tell me what you want to learn about cat drawing. I don't do fancy purebreds. Um... I do, I focus more on rescue cats, but what do you want to draw a cat doing? You know, what kind of poses do you want to learn to draw? Or what parts of the cat do you really want to learn more about? I love to hear about that. So you can just drop me a comment. And yes, a subscribe is good too. It helps build this community of crazy cat artists. So I'd appreciate that too. Just a suggestion of some tabby stripes on the chest. I'm not going to get too detailed on the ears because I kind of want the focal point to be down in the center of the face more. The more details we put on the edges, the more it pulls the eye out of the main part that we want the viewer's eye to focus on. Less is more. Just really got to think about each line, whether you really need it or not, whether it's going to add to your drawing or if it's going to take away from it. And we'll get some whiskers on there. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.